Hello. Today's topic is social evolution and pattern variables. Pattern variables was a concept given by Talcott Parsons and he wanted to understand social change taking place in a society or social change taking place over a period of time. According to him, this social change was the process of social evolution from a primitive society to a more complex society. The driving force was from taken from the AGIL model that means it was adaptation. How quickly a society adapted to external changes or any change and this is how it will become a complex society starting from a primitive society. So, according to Talcott Parsons, he studied social change in the form of social evolution, started with a primitive society and then ended in a complex society. He took the concept of adaptation and he understood that there was a function of adaptation or driving force which was taking place or which was responsible for social evolution. He understood that the earlier society was a simple hunting and gathering society and the current st state was a complex nation state. Now, how did this change happen? This change happened because of the general adaptive capacity of society. Okay, general adaptive capacity of society or by the adaptation function of AGIL model. So, as societies evolve into more complex forms, control over the environment takes place. So, this is the major force responsible for adaptation, control over environment and this thing was understood by Karl Marx also about the economic structure and how changes in environment happened and different modes of production came into being. Same thing Parsons also understood that from a primitive society we entered into a complex society because of adaptation of the society and because of increasing control over the environment. Now, although Parsons believed that economic changes provided an initial stimulus that means initial push was given by the economic part or economic changes they provided the initial push but there were certain other changes also what were these changes these changes were changes in the culture or cultural changes or changes in values these determined the broadest patterns of change so there were changes in economy and changes in culture for example he understood that the structure of modern societies, the structure of modern societies, they had inherited values from ancient Greece and Israel. So, if we have, we are standing today as a modern nation. It is not because we do not lack values. We have inherited values from the past and there is a long heritage of this past, this beautiful past that we share. Now, Parsons identified two sets of cultural values which he called pattern variables A and pattern variables B. Now, every society has certain dilemma or questions which he wants to answer. These dilemmas they are classified into 
five types. For example, the question could be that how should rewards be allocated to individuals or should members of society look after their own interests or those of social groups to which they belong. So, what are the questions? For example, should rewards be allocated to individuals? Should members of society look after their own interests or for interest of the social groups? So, on the basis of this, he gave two types of pattern variables PVA, PVB. First one here is ascription. Here the corresponding one is achievement. Here diffuseness, specificity. Here particularism. Here universalism. Here effectivity. Here effective neutrality. Here collective orientation. Here self orientation. What do we understand by these? Let us go through quickly. Ascription means a status is ascribed. The type of family into which a person is born determines it. That is ascription which is inherited or ascribed. Now, if a status is achieved through a person's own efforts, for example, through hard work that is achievement. What is diffuseness? When people enter into relationships with others, to satisfy a large range of needs, for example, the relationship between mother and child, then that is diffuseness. But specificity is people enter into relationships with others to satisfy particular needs, for example, the relationship between a customer and a shopkeeper, the relationship between mother and child, there are a large number of needs which the mother satisfies, but for a customer, he only buys some material from the shopkeeper. Then we have particularism. Individuals act differently towards particular people. For example, they are loyal to their family but not to strangers. What about universalism? Individuals act according to universal principles. For example, everyone is equal before the law. So, a policewoman would arrest her husband if necessary. So, that is universal. It is about equality. Then we have effectivity here. We are talking about immediate gratification. People act to gratify their desires as soon as possible. But effective neutrality here gratification is deferred that means delayed. For example, saving money to put a deposit on a house in the future. What is collective orientation? As the name suggests, people put the interests of the social groups to which they belong before their own interests and self orientation people pursue their own interest first rather than those of the social groups to which they belong. Now, according to Parsons, what does he say? He says that with the exception of family life, pattern variables A are typical of simple societies whereas pattern variables b are typical of advanced industrial societies so when we are talking about social change from pattern variable a to pattern variable v we are talking about a change from traditional society to industrial society and change in values from pattern variables A to pattern variables B. So, if a society wants to change, they have to change the pattern variables from A to B. They cannot remain stagnant. They need to incorporate this change. For example, in the traditional Hindu caste system, a person's role in society was ascribed at birth. This prevented the most able individuals from filling the most important social roles. The caste system therefore meant 
that society was not run efficiently and social progress was held back so ascription was fit for traditional society but in the modern society we have achievement now merit comes into the picture but parsons also understood that pattern variables a will not disappear completely in the most advanced countries for example they are retained within the family because they provide emotional security so today also we have joint families it has not disappeared so the emotional support is given by joint families and also for the successful socialization of children so this is what pattern variables given by parsons is about if you have any doubts please post a query to at deciphering sociology all the best thank you very much for watching this video